no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net Yesterday before the presidential debate began at Hofstra University here in New York, Green Party presidential candidate Jill Stein and vice presidential candidate Sherry Honkala were arrested for trying to enter the debate grounds. As they were taken away to be chained up for eight hours, they called the debate a mockery that's perpetuating this two-party duopoly rather than allowing all the presidential candidates into the conversation. Jill Stein will be on 85% of the ballots on election day. 85% of America will have the option to vote for the Green Party, and yet she's not allowed to stand up on that stage with the two corporate candidates? Are they that afraid of the truth put forward by this petite, outspoken woman? I mean, she's like five foot nothing, and her idea of a wild night is having an extra cup of lentil soup. Why are Obama and Romney so terrified that they can't even let her within a hundred yards? of them. I can't think of anything I'm so scared of that I would have it arrested if it got anywhere near me, with the possible exception of Snooki riding on Bristol Palin's shoulders. The debates are largely funded by Anheuser-Busch, maker of Budweiser. Perhaps if Dr. Stein could prove her ability to proficiently chug a beer, do a keg stand, or play a little flip cup, maybe then she'd be allowed to debate. Perhaps if she were willing to take more money from corporations, maybe do commercials for Ambien or natural male enhancement, maybe then she would be permitted to speak to the American people. Perhaps if she stopped talking about drone attacks and police brutality, drug wars, and excessive criminality, maybe, just maybe then, she'd be permitted to stand up there proudly and discuss Big Bird or binders full of women, or brag about drilling for more oil and gas than the next guy. Possibly they would let her in if her stance were not only to drill in the Alaskan wildlife refuge, but also in the Alaskan wildlife. You know, just photos of her just stabbing pipes into caribous just to check for petroleum. Then, and only then, would they let her up on that stage. But as it stands now, if you try to participate in this hypocrisy that covers its face with a mask of free democracy, and you don't fit into the tiny elite group of oligarchs and old farts, then you are not just ignored. You are arrested and chained up. Vladimir Putin better up his game, because we're catching up. That's your moment of clarity. I will be posting my exclusive interview with Jill Stein by tomorrow morning. We talked less than 24 hours before she was arrested. If it's already up, you can watch it by clicking right here. Uh, if it's not up, it'll be up soon. You can also learn more about Jill Stein at JillStein.org. Even if you're not voting for her or for a third-party candidate because you're in a swing state or some other reason, please forward this around to help open the discussion and get your friends talking about this. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.